As a creator, many of us are on multiple channels sharing and creating our work. Instead of recreating and sometimes resizing all the assets we have previously created, it is a huge time saver if we're able to resize them very easily. Another huge benefit of Adobe Express is that you don't have to leave the platform in order to schedule these assets to go live on your social channels. For example, you can resize a carefully designed YouTube thumbnail to be an Instagram post, an Instagram story, or even a reel that you can overlay with music. We also often need to resize designs for the holiday season. I know for most of you, the holiday is kind of behind you, but for us of Chinese descent, our Chinese New Year, also known as the Lunar New Year, is coming up on February 10th, 2024. So in this video, I'm going to show you two examples. One is very simple for those of you busy professionals who want to create these Lunar New Year holiday cards very quickly, starting not from scratch, but with ideas and templates. Adobe's got you covered. Whatever design you end up selecting from their template, you can very easily resize and repurpose. And then I'm going to do a double take. I will show you how I go about thinking and designing for this video's thumbnail on my YouTube channel. And then I'm going to show you how to resize it for, I don't know, Facebook, Instagram, even LinkedIn, step by step. So now you can make custom cards in minutes. Let's click on create now. For those of you out there who don't have a lot of assets to work with or simply want to throw something together very quickly, let me show you the templates that Adobe Express has. So on the left hand side, click on templates and look at that thinking of you, get well soon, and you can also create your own design using AI, so directly using text prompt. So now what I want to do before I give up too easily here is I want to go to search. Now you can see it's cards right here, and there are over 5 million designs. What if I want to say Lunar New Year? The moment I type the word Lunar, boom, it pops up. So the first one, Lunar New Year. And from here, I can click on View All, to see all the Lunar New Year templates. I absolutely adore this. Remember, I can actually make additional changes if I want to. So right off the bat, you know, red is this lucky color for the Chinese people. We just love red and yellow. These are definitely the main colors here. Look, this is perfect for an event. Lunar New Year, celebrate it with us. All right, I'm gonna choose a simple design here. From here, what I can do is I can apply face world logo. I can include a personalized message. So if I want to do that, I can click on text. And from here, I can just go add my own text. Now, what about resize? I don't want to have to think about what it will look like for landscape, for square. It's much better for you to use what's considered optimized or recommended image size for each of the platform. To resize this imagery, go to the upper left-hand corner, click on resize. This is why I love this feature. You can apply custom resize, right? Choosing your own size. You can log the ratio or keep it unlocked. But as you scroll down, look, not only you have all the sizes readily available, so you don't have to guess or have to look it up on Google. It's already here. You got your Instagram square post. Instagram story, even Instagram reel. Instagram reels are performing so well right now. Even for something that's just an image, you can post it as a reel. You can overlay with music, Facebook post, image reel, even YouTube thumbnail. I'm just going to do it for fun because you can see how it looks as a landscape imagery. Here's what's popular. And then as you scroll down, you get to access all different assets, different creations that you can have per platform. Sometimes I'm not even thinking so clearly in terms of what I can do on Twitter versus Instagram. And this answers all those questions. All right. If you're happy with what you have selected, all you have to do is duplicate and resize. Let it take a moment. Boom, right here. Look at that. You have everything already created for you. So one, two, three, four. Now, what about this last one, number five? If I'm not happy with it. What I can do is I can edit that further. So simply double click on this asset. From here, you see, I can decide, I can recolor it if I want to. I can also choose to put the, make the text bigger, put it on two lines. I can center the text very easily down the text and increase the size of the lanterns just like that, literally under one minute. So you want to go to other assets. You're going to use this carrot right here. Go to the previous one. See if you like it. It's fine as is, right? 
Anything you want to tweak, you want to move it down, you can do so and everything's automatically saved. As I'm hovering over the text, for instance, you don't overthink the different designs. Towards the upper left hand corner, they're also the recommended section for you as well. So there's just so much to choose from. Boom, one click. Now it looks a little cuter. It's a different font if I choose to. And when I'm ready to share, this is the best part. I don't have to log out of Adobe Express, you know, log into each and every platform. All I have to do is click on share right here, upper right hand corner, and look at the list of channels that you can connect and automatically publish all your designs now and into the future directly on these platforms. I gotta say that this is such a lifesaver. I have a separate video to walk you through step by step. I'm gonna link it right here for you. And real quickly, what you can do is on your own, you can do this where you can simply share your login with your content manager, virtual assistant. This is so easy to do. Now I can select one or multiple channels to publish this asset to. And I can include my captions here as well. I can preview it. I can publish now directly or schedule it or save it as a draft. Sometimes depending on the way that you run your business, perhaps you work with clients, in which case you may ask some of your junior team members to save these designs as drafts, having another person to review before publishing. So I love the fact that Adobe Express are keeping creators and small business owners like us in mind and really help us integrate Adobe Express as part of our workflow. If you're using Adobe Express for the first time, you're not gonna see the list of channels here right away because you need to first connect them. Okay, let's talk about a slightly different example. I always urge creators and small business owners to repurpose their assets as much as possible, whether it's a blog thumbnail or a YouTube thumbnail. We spend so much time creating them, yet we share them once and forget about them. So what if I can show you real quick how to resize and repurpose your YouTube thumbnails as an excuse for you to promote perhaps your podcast episode perhaps your upcoming video. With that said, let's go ahead and design a thumbnail for this video, which is all about the resize feature for Adobe Express. All right, this is my finished design more or less. As you can see, these elements are something that you can move around. You can add drop shadows, resize any design. You can combine elements from other templates into the design that you like, and I am done. From here, you can of course resize and redesign this if you choose to for other platforms. Let me just go ahead and show you real quick. Click on resize again. And here we can choose Instagram Reel, do a Facebook post, why not? I can search for LinkedIn here as a post. Click on resize and boom, here we are. We don't really care about this last one here. I'm gonna delete that. It is now optimized for a landscape design. A lot of people, you know, especially if you're not a professional designer, this is a little daunting to say, um, okay, what do I need to do now? So you can see that these square ones are pretty close. I'm gonna click on that double click on that and you can see that yeah you can move these elements around and also as you're resizing these imageries sometimes you have to make choices by giving up elements that are no longer as important and, and give yourself an opportunity to, to simplify and move things around right so for instance i can now move this logo here to the upper right hand corner elements that no longer serve a purpose like that little colorful strips i can get rid of this one I can really make bigger. I can select these as a group and then make myself a little bit bigger, but also put myself in that corner here. See, just like that, it's pretty straightforward. Now, one more thing I know that this is the part where people go, well, this is really not optimal. Again, you can be very playful here especially if this is, let's say, a real or story. You kind of want things to kind of stand out in slightly different ways. And having the little logo here, get rid of the color strips. And, and this is the design where I feel like I don't really necessarily need these uh, little designs to demonstrate that, just not really ideal. And here I am, move the sun over my head. Let me know in the comments below what you tend to struggle with. Again, I am someone who believe in imperfections and that's really what pushes our work forward. When you think about these repurposing efforts, it's not about perfection, rather giving you more leverage to optimize your existing social media channels. I suggest that we don't just focus on quality, but ways that we can repurpose our content and learn from that experience and get better 
over time. Thank you for watching till the end of the video. That means so much to me, to us, my production team who are not here on the screen with me right now. I hope you learned a thing or two. Please leave a comment below. Share with me how you go about using Adobe Express and other tools to help yourself as a creator, as a small business owner. If you like this video, definitely check out this one. You're going to learn very quickly how to use Adobe Express to schedule these assets to automatically publish on your social channels.